See, as for cookie, that's good enough for me. All right, anyway, Star Trek fans, uh, I want to take a short video, maybe a short video, maybe a long video, but I want to talk about one of my fun little ships. Other people might not find it fun. I think it's a great ship, but the Stella, and apparently they've come out with some new cheater packs. Uh, so we're going to begin. First off, we're going to pull up our Stella. By now, most of us at least have a Stella. Um, or are really close to getting said Stella. The Stella is an interesting ship. It's a battleship. And it is solely dependent upon your research. There's a little tree here. As you can see, I have researched 66 out of 160 possible researches you can do for the Stella. The Stella can be tiered up like any other ship. We'll go ahead and hop over to my other Stella. Yes, I have two. There's a reason for that. I'll explain it here after a bit. When we upgrade it, thankfully, it only requires uranium. You've got epic uranium, rare uranium, uncommon uranium, uh, tier 7. All it needs is epics. Uh, but that's where you are at as far as resources go for tearing up your Stella. Now, we have to look at the research tree. Because, like I said, this ship is 100% Depending on your research. Yeah, some of your other researches, your buildings, uh, for example, you know, your foundry, battleship, shield health bonus determined by level of foundry, armor bonus is determined by level of foundry. That's going to affect it a little bit. And of course, crewing below decks is also going to affect it. And we're going to swap back over to this Stella. As you can see, I'm slowly but surely working on the EXP so I can scrap this bad boy again, which is the reason why I have two Stellas. It's easier if you're tearing up one Stella, your main Stella, then you've got your backup Stella. Because it, when it first starts out, you've got the uncommon uranium you've got to go for. And of course, you're going to want to focus on one ship entirely. Then it starts getting into a mix of rare and uncommon. And of course, you're going to have leftover uncommons that you can use to spend on the little tear ups for your smaller Stella. And then once you get to, like with my other Stella, tier 7, um, once you get to tier 7 with your main Stella, then of course you're focusing entirely upon getting that epic loot, doing those epic armadas, doing those hand-ins for that epic uranium. At that point, you can then go ahead and invest all of your uncommons and your rares into your backup Stella and get it to a point where all it needs is the epics as well. So you're going to have your main, you're going to have your backup, and then when you scrap your main, of course... You've got your backup ready to go. It's already sitting at tier 7 and it's already ready to do armadas. If you're not, you know, floating multiple ships doing multiple armadas at the same time, that's always another option to go with your Stella. But we're going to look at this research tree. Outlaw. And I'm sure many of us have looked at this research tree in the past. It goes on and on and on and on and all the way up. Now, what's interesting about the research tree is, of course, First off, before you can get your Stella, you have to get up to here, get this research, it unlocks the Stella, boom, bada bing, ready to go. Anarchist Weaponry is the next research, and it required a lackey token. You got that token by getting your rep up with the outlaws, um, and then once you did that research, it then awarded you with, I believe, an alpha particle, and you would use that alpha particle to start either Stella Weaponry or Stella Hull. Now, if you haven't built your Stella yet, and you haven't gotten into the tree yet, and you're just getting into the tree, you're going to want to go Stella Hole first. First. Here's why. Stella Hole increases the hole health. It's going to make you last longer. Hideout defenses. It's going to make your base a little bit tougher. Yay. Assimilated credit yield. This is going to affect how, much, how many credits you get when you hand in charged nanoprobes for independent credits. Rogue Shields, of course, is going to increase the shields of all your ships. The shield health points for all ships. And, of course, you got Crafty Engineering. Bonus shield health points for the Stella versus Eclipse enemies. Oop, I got ahead of myself. Highway Robbery is what we were wanting to get to. But anyway, I still recommend going defense first. Uh, you're going to get more armadas per run if you live longer. Uh, better able to take those hits. You can always officer out for increased damage, but you can't 
white officer up for increased defense and longevity. Certain crew combinations you can, certain ones you can't. Uh, later on at the next tier uh, of reputation with the rogues, you get another token. Uh, I believe it's a associate's token or scoundrel, no, scoundrel token. Lackey token, scoundrel token. So once you reach scoundrel, you can do eclipse defenses. Once you finish that research, it of course rewards you with what is called a beta particle. And by particles, you see these little symbols right here. Alpha particle. Beta particle and gamma particles. Roar, gamma particle. Anyway, so we're going to back it up. Uh, the scoundrel token, which you can only get at, you can only do this research at level 31. Um, at level 31, when you get your scoundrel token after grinding up your rep, uh, you can unlock eclipse defenses. At this point, this is when you most definitely want to go bottom rung. Get your stellar defenses, bonus mitigation stats for the stellar versus eclipse enemies. That's always good. You got eclipse weak points, bonus crit damage for all ships versus eclipse enemies, strategic exploits, uh, bonus crit damage for defense platforms, kinetic guerrilla warfare. This is going to increase your kinetic damage versus eclipse enemies with the Stella. And then, of course, you get down here to highway robbery. Bonus loot from eclipse enemies for the Stella. Bonus loot. As you can see, I'm at 6 out of 15. That's a 275% increase. You're going to want to make your run for that research. It's going to change your life. Uh, more loot from the armadas means more handins, means more uranium, which means tearing up your Stella quicker to a point where you can scrap it, which means more Stella particles, which means more research. Um, and then after a while, you get another Toki. I believe this is the known associate Toki and token. We will double check here in a little bit. That unlocks the next tree. When you do this research, it awards you with a gamma particle. And as usual, you can only pick one tree. Um, oh, back up. So, lackey token, beta particle, unlock one tree. Scoundrel token, this awards one beta particle and one alpha particle which means you then get to go back and unlock the second part branch of this tree and then once you get down to here once you do this research it awards you with one gamma particle and one beta particle which means you get to unlock the top half of this research tree and I'm going to assume I haven't double checked but once you do these researches you will be awarded with one of these two researches, because, you know, trees, uh, you will be awarded with the second gamma particle, which will then, of course, allow you to unlock the bottom half of the tree. Uh, I just went topside because, like I said, after a while, your Stella is going to get to a point where it actually can take hits, and I decided I wanted to go with more damage. Bonus crit chance. Bonus crit chance. You can always crew for crit. and This is going to give you more crit. I'm up to 5% bonus crit against Eclipse targets. And of course, there's the Armada Piercing. Uh, another thingy-mobobber you're going to get with your research is the Outlaw Research Credits, which you can buy on a daily basis. Um, and this is a bit of a grind. It has been a bit of a grind. I've been, I've been doing hand-ins every single day to get to the rep level that I am at. And scopely, the Supreme Overlords in their divine wisdom or at least realizing that they have a cash grab on their hands, have released cheater packs. That's right, folks. If you don't want to spend the months grinding up your rep to unlock all that research, they now have cheater packs. Outlaw Research 1. You can get that. This is going to reward you with two alpha particles, which is going to allow you to unlock both those trees instantly. Gives you that lackey token, some uncommons, other stuffs. Outlaw Research 2. Two beta particles. The Scoundrel token. Some uncommons. Other stuff. Lots of the lithium there. And then, of course, the last one Outlaw Research 3. Uh, this one is super tempting, in my opinion. It gives you both gamma particles. I mean, I know I only need the one, but, you know, it comes in packs of two. Also gives you that known associate token. 
and it gives you I mean look at this 600 crystal gas and ore humana humana 150 million dilithium oh oh yeah if I had a hundred dollars I would probably buy this pack right now and it doesn't say limit one it doesn't it's still there um, the other outlaw packs you've got the prime augment favor which is the only one I didn't buy because by the time this art came out I was already max reputation with the augments anyway so this pack didn't do me any good total waste of money um, and there's one more actual outlaw research special pack this is a pretty good pack this comes with the most stellar particles the most outlaw research credits a decent amount of uncommons and rares uh, a decent amount of dilithium trit not so much on the par steel uh, this is a decent little bump and like I said gives you those stellar particles now your Stella is meant for scrapping it is not a flagship it is not an everyday ship it is not a hostile grinder unless you're uh, grinding uh, eclipse ships uh, the point of the Stella is to level up scrap it get particles level up again scrap it get particles you catch my drift it's 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 a self perpetuating recyclization machine and if we look at our rogue reputation known associate stella blueprint scans every time you scrap a stella when it's fish finished you're always rewarded with one stella hole scan so you can always come right back in here and get more particles Directives, rep, and credits, research credits, uh, farming security codes. That's another thing about the uh, highway robbery is earning more credits in order to make this less of a grind. Um, I can farm, I believe, 80,000 of these particle, these security codes in about 20 minutes. Uh, but every chance you get every day, you're going to get 50 uncommon eclipse directives, 67 Rare Eclipse Directives, Rogue Credits, Rogue Reputation. The reputation is always a grind. Researches in that tree are dependent upon research level. So even if you do buy the cheater packs, you probably aren't going to be able to do everything. Your Outlaw Warp Tokens. And mind you, as you tear up in reputation with Rogue, things get more expensive. If you're looking at yours and then looking at mine, wondering why the price point is so high. Outlaw Warp Tokens, 116k. Uh, you've also got your data hand-ins every day for more Eclipse directives. Exchange heist and loot you can hand in every three days. Uncommon loot. And then of course you've got your uranium hand-ins. Haven't done my rare. I don't have any rare, rare heist loot. But there's where you get your rare. Here's where you get your uncommon. And here's where you get your epic. You can also buy outlaw recruits. I have bought this a few times. Hopefully I'm going to get better odds next tier in faction. And then of course with your Stella Particles, you can gamble with them. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Scopely, firm believer in gambling. You can come in here and you can gamble one chest, two chests, three chests. Uh, at my faction rep, it is a 190k for a three chest pool. And you of course got a chance for all these various amounts. Uh, important to note, this is on a six day timer. And while they gave you the chance to gamble, they didn't give you the chance to gamble your absolute living brains out. But you can do that for crystal, gas, and ore. Now, when you're first starting out, if you are under level 31, you should be farming uncommon armadas. Don't even try for the rares. If somebody's carrying you for rares, great, fine, whatever. But at those low levels you're not going to be able to get that high in that research anyway. So the whole point is to tear up your cell to a point, scrap it, get particles, do research, make your cell bigger. It's a constant process. Every time I scrap my Stella, I get more particles, I do more research, my Stella gets better. My Stella does not get better necessarily because I tear it up. It gets better because of the research. You saw some of the bonuses in there. I mean 40,000 damage per hit with kinetic weapons just through research you didn't get that from tearing the ship up so tearing is not the best idea right away you want to get it to a certain point and then scrap it and we're going to take a look at that oh, wrong tab all right 
So, you've got levels 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. Up to level 20 only costs uncommon uranium, which is a very good place to scrap it. Level 20 is kind of that, that sweet spot before your level 31 or 32 to scrap your Stella. Scrap it, get back 1500 particles. I know it doesn't seem like much. I know when you look down here it looks like so much more, but believe me, the grind to get these is horrendous if you're not a high enough level to do your uh, highway robbery research and get that research tiered up and that's basically your goal make it through the tree get to that highway robbery do that highway robbery research every chance you get max that out because once you get it maxed out then of course getting these credits isn't that much more expensive um, after level 20 uh, tier 4 then of course it's going to start costing rare if you are getting carries for rares and can't afford to get that rare uranium uh okay go ahead stretch it out to level 25 but you're still going to want to scrap it do not be one of those players who is struggling to get their stella to tier 9 and you're only level 30. you're not doing yourself any favors you're not doing your alliance mates any favors your stella is a paperweight and Maybe you're an alliance that can carry you, maybe you're not, I don't know. But the payout for the Armadas gets better and better and better and better the more you do that research. And of course, if you take your Stella all the way to Tier 9, the payout is 467,000 Stella particles. Down here, of course, you can see how much you will need. 257,000 total uncommon particles, 50,000 total rare particles, and of course, 12,500 epics. This number is a little bit skewed. If you do buy the Prime Stella Efficiency research, uh, that's going to cut these numbers in half, which is why I've managed to scrap my Stella. This is going to be my third time getting it to Tier 9 and scrapping it. Um, but yeah, that's your Stella. Those are your cheater packs. And like I said, if you're below level 31, 32, you definitely need to start scrapping it. Why do I say level 31 and 32? Let's go back to our research. Like I said, survivability for those uncommon armadas. And then up here, Eclipse Defenses, you can't even start this research until you're level 31. You just can't. Um, around level 32, you start getting more levels in your Stella Defenses, which is going to make your survivability that much higher. But at 32, you get two or three levels into the highway robbery. Um, but without the Stella defenses, you're just in for a world of pain. It, that's all there is to it. Your Stella is a paperweight until you get this research done. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Just a paperweight. And of course, once you're level 31, 32-ish, and you get this research done, start this research, get that alpha particle, come back, do your Stella weaponry. Now... Not only do you have the survivability, but now you can increase the damage that you put out while doing your armadas and do that much better for your team. Make things a lot easier all the way around for your friends, your alliance mates, and your loot. And of course, there's more research throughout this tree, uh, you know, level requirements, so on and so forth. It's going to be a while before I see the rest of this. Um, like I said, Scopely was smart. They came out with these cheater packs. Temptation. I mean, when did... when did? I mean, this is December 1st. Um, the Outlaw arc came out when? And I am only this far, this close to partner. I mean, it is a grind. And I mean every day, handing in data. And I mean, of course, we had the Augment event. And I, you know, data mined my brains out. I still have 16.5 million data left. But I mean constant daily hand-ins just to get the rep, just to get up there. Um, it is a grind. And also, like I said, if you do buy the cheater packs and cheat your way or buy your way, I wouldn't necessarily call it cheating. I mean, it's there. Um, but if you buy your way into those tokens to unlock those research trees sooner, um, a lot of those researches are still locked behind actual rep levels. So you still have that grind to look forward to. Um... I think that's going to about wrap it up for us today. Um, like I said, if you're below level 32, stick to those uncommons. Recycle that bad boy. 
recycle, recycle, recycle. Uh, it's going to get you the research you need. And that's going to help your game out all the way around. Uh, if you like this video, if it was informative, uh, hit like, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends. Uh, if you have friends, I don't have any friends. I have you guys. Uh, but hit that subscribe button, hit like. Uh, any questions, comments below, I'll take a look at them. Any suggestions, I'll take a look at them. Uh, other than that, as always, be safe, have fun, and good luck.